back at it again, and we've got a video here with Candace Owens uh, discussing something that has been discussed quite a lot more recently once again. Uh, as you guys uh, have seen on the channel, we've checked out Kanye West a number of times in the past few days, um, and it kind of, uh, I mean, obviously it was sparked because of the WLM statement, but he also made a statement about BLM and how BLM was a scam and, you know, he received a lot of backlash for it. But uh, Candace Owens talked about releasing a documentary about the whole BLM and, and, and all of that sort of thing and uh, um, the Floyd situation that happened. How, whoa, was that like two years ago, three years ago now? Wow. Seems like almost yesterday that that whole thing was going down. Um, but there was supposed to be a documentary, uh, released and now apparently it's coming very, very soon. And we have a trailer to go along with it. So that's what we're going to be checking out today. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you are not subscribed to the channel already hit that subscribe button as well. And if you would like to follow me on social media, those links are down below as well as my discord server, which is basically just a glorified chat room. It's totally free to join. It should be the first link in the description box below but with all that being said let's dive in so black lives matter released their 990 irs filings their s filings they collected eight Jeez. 80 million dollars where is that money it's not here everything looks worse than it was where have you seen that money impacted throughout the city so my producer just sent me a link. And that's one of the things that we could touch on is the fact that BLM scammed, you know, a lot of black folks into thinking that, uh, where's that image? That doing this was the right thing to do. Now, <clears throat> They took all that money, right? And, you know, obviously bought some mansions for themselves. I think there was a disbursement of some money at some point in time, but there was a, a chapter of BLM that even came out and said, hey, we're not even receiving any funding. We're suing, you know, the BLM global organization. And then you have stuff like this, and it's just like, why didn't that money go back into rebuilding those communities? You told them that tearing it down would be a good idea. These folks should be arrested and they should be arrested now. They scammed the American people. Well, not me, <laughs> right? But they scammed a lot of folks. They sold them a lie, took the money and ran off with it. It's disgusting, man. It's absolutely disgusting. Where have you seen that money impacted throughout the city? <laughs> so my producer just sent me a link. It is just shocking to me because of how much money was raised to think that where he lived, the bills weren't being covered. Super frustrating, but that's a dead end, so. And here's where it gets really interesting. Ready for some BLM pride? Another 200K went to escorts, BDSM workers, strippers, peep show workers, phone sex operators, and webcam performers. And then at that moment, it became personal. And I thought, not only am I going to say the truth, <laughs> I am going to scream the truth louder than you can scream the lies. Wow. Wow. I mean, this stuff is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. BLM, BLM, BLM. We, we, we gotta, we gotta come together as, as, as black people. And you know, we, we, we've checked out videos of Patrice Cullors whole, you know, the black people were, were, were being attacked and you know, we, we, we need to up, you know, uplift these communities and all these folks just ran off with the money. And instead of sending it back into where it, supposedly was supposed to go to the black communities to help black people you spent it on strippers and webcam performers 
Really? Mansions? Which, stick around to the end of this video because I got something else or in, in terms of that. Some news that came out with that. But, uh, that's what you were spending? Consultation fees? To the amount of, I think the last time I heard it was $2 million? Stuff is disgusting. <laughs> It's incredible that the majority of the world hasn't seen this. 10, 12, 22. 10, 12, 22. Coming soon. Coming soon. Oh, man. Wait, what's today's date? Yeah. Coming very, very soon, actually. So, um, yeah, I mean, that, that whole situation is very, very disturbing for obvious reasons. Um, encouraged you know, black and people of color to destroy their communities. And that was the great thing to do, you know, for, for freedom. And now all of these same folks have to go back to those destroyed, broken down communities that are worse than what they were before all of this went down. Absolutely disgusting. But I've got something else that I want to jump into as well to show you guys that um, these guys are the biggest fraudsters or some of the biggest fraudsters that we've ever seen. So check this out. People are angered after BLM founder Patrice Cullors spends thousands renovating her backyard on her $1.4 million LA home. So not only was it enough to spend those funds on purchasing million dollar homes in white neighborhoods who we've been told by BLM and others in the media, the boogeyman is the white man. You got to stay away from the white folks. They're, they're hunting the black people and people of color down. They're hunting us down. Stay away from them. And yet you have this and others right in neighborhoods with white folks. <laughs> what a scam. So yeah, one of, one of the biggest scams in, in history, man, this is just absolutely disgusting. And I'm not saying that, you know, Patrice colors or any of the, you know, founders or whoever these folks are couldn't pay themselves. Right. That's not what I'm saying. I believe you should be paid for your work. It, it, it doesn't really matter to me if it's a you know nonprofit organization, which BLM is supposed to be or was supposed to be uh, or not. You know, we don't work for free. I wouldn't work for free. You know, uh, I, I, I want to be paid for my time. I know that there's a finite amount of it. I can't buy any more more of it or create any more of it. So the time that I do spend, I want to at least be compensated for it in some way, shape or fashion. So I'm not mad at her being paid. That's not the issue. She should have been paid. She could have been paid a million dollars for all I care. The issue is the allocation of funds and how it was spent. Multiple mega mansions or million dollar homes? Multiple? Why do you need that? A chapter of BLM coming out and suing you because they didn't receive any funds when you reportedly got $80 million? So where'd this money go? A consultation fee of two million plus the last time I checked, allegedly, now, all of this stuff is alleged, all right? A consultation fee of over $2 million to, hmm, let me guess, your baby's father? Well, that's kind of a coinky dink. That's quite a lot for just consultation. Interesting. And it just so happens that they had a relationship previously. Uh, you know, very, very interesting. But hey, y'all let me know what you thought about all of this in the comment section below. Do you think any charges will come of this? I don't think so at this point because it's been well known, right? Uh, I think it's, it's, it's been out there in the atmosphere for quite some time to the point where, I mean, it's, I honestly kind of forgot about it for a while. Really, you know, it's, it's just been known for so long at this point and nothing's happened. So, um, 
yeah, y'all let me know in the comment section. Is anybody going to uh, get in trouble for this? Talk to me. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Peace and love. I'm out.